ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯಂ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಹನ ಹೋತು ಸಹನ ಭಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವದಿ ಸ್ಮಾತ್ಯುಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಓಂ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃಷಭಂತಾತಿರ್ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವಂ ಮಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತು ಮೇ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಪ್ತದ್ವೀಪ ಚೀತಿ okay before we move forward into the second half of the uh, introductory bhashya on the third chapter i would like to make some corrections and elaborations uh, because i had uh, given some superficial treatment and may have erred i don't remember uh, what all i said in context of quoted uh, mantras and shlokas so just for completion and correction i'll go back a little uh, i didn't spend much time on uh, what was quoted and uh, gave it a very uh, superficial treatment i am not too happy about it and i think i may have erred because uh, there may be multiple interpretations and i have taken some uh, so or literal uh, interpretation where uh, there is a lakshana and uh, where uh, there is a lakshana i may have, uh, where there is a literal treatment i have taken lakshana both ways are possible so i'll just revisit some of these uh, mantras and shlokas which are quoted uh, where was it okay so the context is the puropakshi is saying uh, bhashakara has brought in a puropakshi who was refuted earlier in the introduction to gita itself and in 2.10 where bhagwan bhashakara began the uh, began his bhashya with the uh, sum up of what has gone by in the first chapter and then uh, what is the idea in the gita shastra itself now what he is doing he has already said there that we will revisit in the context looking at what the purva pakshi has said in his commentaries pratikara uh, who is taken as uh, uh, bhartur prapancha somewhere and uh, somewhere he is taken as uh, bodhana we don't know who this uh, person exactly is but then we know that he is a vedantin but a samuchchayavadin that much we know and why it is important to know that is because there are other pakshas which have come up after bhashyakaras who have kind of revived his view and there are people who talk about samuchchaya that and that samuchchay can be anything jnana bhakti samuchchaya bhakti is also karma upasana samuchchaya that is also karma need not be vaidika yajna karma alone so for that reason we have to be uh, very sure as to what is this reputation most of what has come by has already been refuted by bhagwan bhashyakara which are detailed by vyakhyanakara tikakaras and uh, saptikas there are many verses which are there which have taken nyaya shastra and done khandana of the khandana which was done of advaita mata anyway so in that context uh, i i'll just tell you that why this is important to spend time on uh okay so the puro pakshi said that jnana karma samuchchaya is there and what he has said here is viruddha to his own introductory bhashya in to gita so bhagwan bhashyakara says that now i will show you how your own commentary is contradicting your introductory commentary where you have said that there is samuchchaya prescribed for moksha for sarvashramina for all ashramis and now you are saying that for sanyasis there is uh, there is no samuchchaya needed whereas there is samuchchaya needed for grahasthas so thereby there is virodha then puro pakshi said that no no I, just because i did not mention smarta karma it does not mean that smarta karma can be given by sanyasi so sanyasi also has samuchchaya there is no virodha sanyasi has samuchchaya of smarta karma and jnana whereas grahastha has a Uh, samuchchaya of shrauta karma smarta karma and jnana that's the only difference then he said there also there is virodha bhagwan bhashyakara pointed it is a virodha right because 
earlier you have not mentioned this kind of a division now you are mentioning division but there is a virodha and there is inconsistency what is the reason for sanyasi to have only smarta karma and uh, non sanyasis grahastas to have smarta karma as well along with uh, smarta karma so it makes no sense let them also have only smarta karma why would you make such differentiation where is all the where is this interpretation coming from what is the pramana for all this therefore he is showing virodha logically it is not right and then he is quoted so many texts to say that sanyasa why because he said that what will is going to happen now is that shruti will have burdened the grahastha and last time i said that grahastha is the pillar of the varnashrama vyavastha and he is the support for all the other three ashramas and now you are saying that shruti has not only given him the uh, the the shastras have not even not only given him the responsibility of taking care of all other three ashramas ashrama vyavastha as in ashramis but now you are saying that he has been burdened with more karma than the other ashrama for moksha for purushartha siddhi this is ridiculous so shrauta smartancha bahu dukkha roopam karma shirasi aropitam syat shrutya shrutya or by shastra shastrena now now this pura pakshi is saying that this is the reason that moksha will be possible only for a grahastha because there ayas bahulya and this becomes the karana for only grahastha getting moksha and he says that sanyasi will not get moksha so it is very ridiculous that there is no uh, it is very opportunistic vada but he is not thinking properly of inconsistencies and virodha to shruti and bhagwan bhashyakara is showing now that there are lot of shruti statements which are saying that tadapi asat sarva upanishadsu in shruti itself and not only in shruti the derived works also itihasa purana yoga shastreshu cha ज्ञानांगत्वेन मुमुक्षो सर्व कर्मा कर्म संन्यास विधाना सर्व कर्म संन्यास इज गिवन एज अ विधि बाय श्रुति एंड इट इज फॉलोड इन इतिहास पुराण योग शास्त्र आल्सो एज अ ज्ञानांगा इट इज बिकम्स अ बिकम्स सब्सिडरी बिकम्स एन अंग ऑफ ज्ञान एंड सो मच सो दैट ऑर्थोडॉक्स ट्रेडिशन सेज दैट दिस दिस ज्ञान इज नॉट पॉसिबल विदाउट सर्व कर्म संन्यास सो मच सो and now you are saying that people who take sanyasa they themselves will not get moksha and now he further says ashrama vikalpa samuchya vidhana cha shruti smrutyo here i interpreted this as shashti uh, which is an error a better meaning is given in the uh, because if i take it as shashti then it does not work as for karma sanyasa vidhi but ashrama vikalpa samuchya vidhana cha there is a uh, the connection is not working right so looking at the tika see vyakhyana kar anand giri uh, maharaj says uh, he he says that what is the shruti smrutyo this is saptami so saptami dyochana in shruti and smruti ashrama vikalpa samuchya vidhi is given vidhana vidhana is vidhi so sarva karma sanyasa vidhana is there and there is a ashrama vikalpa samuchya vidhana vidhana is there both types of vidhis are there so here i'll take sarva karma sa vidhana as one type of sanyasa and ashrama vikalpa samuchya vidhana can be both types of sanyasa here it is vidvat sanyasa the renunciation of the knower after jnana is there and as jnana anga for nishtha now ashrama vikalpa samuchya is what he says brahmacharyam samapya grihi bhavet grihadvani bhutva pravrajet यदि वा इतरता ब्रह्मचर्या देव प्रवृजेत गृहाद वा वनाद वा सो देयर इज देयर इज इंस्ट्रक्शन इन श्रुति इति श्रुतौ इन जाबाली उपनिषद देयर इज अ एंड याज्ञवल्क्य सो एंड बेसिकली इज अ सन्यास उपनिषद इन सन्यास उपनिषद इन श्रुति व्हाट इज सेड ब्रह्मचर्य समाप्य गृही भवे देयर इज अ सीक्वेंस फ्रॉम ब्रह्मचर्य वन कैन गो टू गृहस्थ आश्रम फ्रॉम गृहस्थ आश्रम टू वानप्रस्थ and from vana prastha one can go to sanyasa that is one ashrama vikalpa another ashrama vikalpa so ashrama vikalpa is what uh, first he is explaining samuchya so ashrama vikalpa samuchya vidhana so that samuchya i have taken shruti smriti samuchya but samuchya is by taking this as shashti but there is an 
एक देश अन्वया देर सो दिस इज सप्तमी मीनिंग इन श्रुति एंड स्मृति देर इज अ विधि एंड व्हाट कैंड ऑफ विधि इज देर देर इज अ समुच्चय विधि एंड विकल्प विधि बोथ सो आश्रम समुच्चय सो आश्रम विल गो विथ आश्रम विकल्प एंड आश्रम समुच्चय सो देर इज आश्रम विकल्प विधि मीनिंग डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम वन आश्रम विच इज सेट हियर ए लेटर इट इज सेट तस्य आश्रम विकल्प एक ब्रूवते यम इच्छे तम आवसेत इत्यादि स्मृत स्मृति ऑल्सो वॉट वॉट इज दिकल्प ब्रह्मचर्य समाप्य गृही भवे गृहाध्वनि भूतवा प्रवृजे दैट इज दि दैट इज दि सीक्वेन्शियल समुच्चय आश्रम समुच्चय वॉट इज द समुच्चय ऑफ ब्रह्मचर्य आश्रम ऑफ गृहस्थ आश्रम एंड ऑफ वन प्रस्थ आश्रम बिफोर वन गोस टू संन्यास सो दैट इज वन आश्रम आश्रम समुच्चय दैट इज द विधान एंड अनदर विधान इज वॉट इन द सेम मंत्र इट इज सेट यदि वा अदरवाइज वॉट इथर था अदरवाइज डिफरेंटली वन कैन गो ब्रह्मचर्य देव प्रवृजित वन कैन डायरेक्टली गो फ्रॉम ब्रह्मचर्य टू संन्यासा प्रवृजित मीन्स वन कैन टेक संन्यासा ग्रहाद वा वनाद वा सो फ्रॉम अ ग्रस्त आश्रम ऑल्सो वन कैन टेक संन्यासा और फ्रॉम वन प्रस्ताव सो वन नीड नॉट फॉलो ऑल स्टेजेस वन मे टेक ऑप्शनली फ्रॉम एनी एनी पर्टिक्युलर आश्रम डायरेक्टली यू कैन जंप आश्रम सो दैट इज द आश्रम विकल्प सो आश्रम विकल्प एंड आश्रम समुच्चय दैट कैंड ऑफ अ विधान और विधि इज देर इन श्रुति एंड स्मृति बोथ नॉट ओनली दैट बट सर्वकर्म संन्यास विधान इज ऑल्सो देर इन श्रुति एंड स्मृति हो सो श्रुति स्मृति हो इन सप्तमी विल कनेक्ट टू बोथ सो आई मे हैव नॉट आई मे हैव आई हैव मेड अ डिफरेंट इंटरप्रिटेशन देयर दैट इज नॉट राइट सो दिस आई हेड सेट दैट श्रुति स्मृति समुच्चय बट समुच्चय वर्ड इज मिस इंटरप्रिटेड बाय द पूर्व पक्षी एंड देन ही डज नॉट केयर अबाउट सो द वे आई मेड एन एरर द पूर्व पक्षी हैज ऑल्सो जम्प डाउन समुच्चय एंड वॉट ही सेड इज दैट ही सेज सिद्ध स्तरी सर्वाश्रमी ज्ञान कर्मण हो समुच्चय हिज टेकिंग ज्ञान कर्म समुच्चय आई हेड टेकन श्रुति स्मृति समुच्चय इज देर एज इन बोथ आर सेंग दैट बट ही द मीनिंग इज दैट हिअर आश्रम विकल्प एंड आश्रम समुच्चय बोथ टाइप्स ऑफ विधीज आर देर मीनिंग वॉट संन्यास विधि इज देर एंड दि हिअर संन्यास कुड बी वॉट इट कैन बी इट कैन बी अर the renunciation of the knower which is uh, called as vidvat sanyasa which yajna valkya took in this mantra whatever is said that is another which is uh, which is which is for knowing so to know one takes sanyasa that is pre jnana and that is called as vividisha sanyasa so both can be included here and what bhagwan is uh, bhagwan bhashyakara is harping on is that jnanaangatvena mumukso sarvakarma sanyasa vidhanat and jnanaangatvena would be विविधिशा होंगी बट इफ यू टेक दैट ज्ञानांगत्व कनेक्ट ओनली टू दिस सर्व देन वी कैन से दैट बोथ कैन बी इन्क्लूडेड विविधिशा संन्यास एज वेल एज विद्वत संन्यास बट बोथ आर प्रिस्क्राइब इन श्रुति एंड स्मृति एज ज्ञानांग एज इन पूर्णत्व फॉर द पुरुषार्थ सिद्धि फॉर अ मुमुक्षु नाउ हाउ कैन यू से दैट देर इज समुच्चय ही इज जम्प एंड ही इज सेंग दैट देर इज समुच्चय ऑफ ज्ञान एंड कर्म दिस इज दी पूर्व पक्षी से एंड भगवान भाष्य करा इज रिफ्यूटिंग सेंग दैट न मुमुक्षो सर्वकर्म संन्यास विधान पी एड सीन ऑल दिस नाउ ऑल जिस गो टू सम मंत्र सो विच आई मे नॉट हैव कंप्लीटेड सो तस्मा न्यासम एशा तपसा अतिरिक्त माहु एंड ही सेंग वॉट ही इज शोइंग भगवान भाष्य करा इज शोइंग दैट द हाउ श्रुति स्टेटमेंट्स आर नॉट ओनली कॉन्ट्राडिक्टेड बाय यू आर सेंग दैट ओनली गृहस्था विल गेट मोक्षा but in fact you will have had opposite meaning in fact shruti is saying contrary to what you are saying shruti is saying what tasma therefore whatever has gone by in the upanishad there nyasam nyasam is sanyasam esham tapasam among all these tapas which is there this atiriktam nyasam is atiriktam means it is shreshta shruti is saying that it is it is shreshta and nyasa sanyasa eva अत्यरेचयत एंड दैट इट सेल्फ एक्सेल्स इट इज सुपीरियर न्यास संन्यास इज सुपीरियर एंड यू आर टेकिंग ग्रस्त आश्रम एज सुपीरियर न कर्मण प्रजया दिस आई हेव एक्सप्लेन इमोर्टेलिटी दिस इज दी ओनली वे नॉट थ्रू कर्म नॉट थ्रू प्रजा 
not through dhana but only through tyaga and tyaga here is sannyasa. All this we say and tyaja dharmam adharmancha ube satyanrute tyaja ube satyanrute tyaktva yena tyajasi satyaja. Here uh, the satyanrute and dharma adharma this is the Mahabharata statement. So Itihasa Purana also have these kind of statements. Sausarayo nissaram drushtva saradi drushya pravajanti akruto dvahaha. Akruto dvaha are uh, vaha means carrying. Carrying means carrying as in carrying or taking a bride home. That is what vahaha meaning those who are married. So akruto, akruto dvaha means those who are not married. Pravrajanti meaning Brahmacharis. So Brahmacharis also Param Vairagya Mashirtaha resulting to Vairagya where they are not even interested to get married. So from Brahmacharya alone they uh, itself they take to Sanyasa that is also shown in Mahabharata. So uh, these are the meanings there and Sarvakarmana, Sarvakarmani Manasa Sanyasya in Bhagavad Gita. I said that we look at multiple meanings here. It may be here in this shloka, I don't remember. Or I may be remembering some other shloka where uh, Pura Pakshi this, uh, interprets this manasa differently and then he questions. Uh, so I am not sure whether it is in that shloka. I may have jumped the gun there. So manasa will keep it literal, I said along with, but he will keep it as, not as Sahatritya. We will say manasa will take as buddhi. We will do lakshana and say uh, through buddhi. So buddhya sanyasya. Uh, giving up and buddhi there is viveka through viveka so you have to do lakshana there a little sarva karmani uh, vivekena sanyasya so this is that is the meaning there through viveka through discriminative intellect through that discrimination one gives up all the sanyasa what is that discrimination understanding what shruti is saying and what is the purpose of karma what is the purpose of jnana that is the discrimination and it is also the discrimination as to what is that which Karma can get me, what is it that Jnana can get me and what is it that I really want. Do I want uh, what Karma can give, which is, Karma can give four things. What can be brought by Karma only, Karma can give. And what can Jnana give, only it can take away Ajnana. Therefore, Karma can give only uh, what is attainable by Karma. If you inquire into what is attainable by Karma, there are uh, what can be produced utpatti hi, prapti sanskarya and vikarya so utpatti utpatti is what can be produced like ghata ghata is produced from clay so from mrit ghata is produced that you cannot do by jnana only karma can give so utpatti is one that karma can give what is another thing that karma can give karma can give gati gati meaning prapti hi. Attainment of something, attainment of the unattained. Attainment of the unattained is like Sarga. Sarga is there but you don't have Sarga. So if you want Sarga, some Upasana karma has to be done. So that is the another result of karma. Third result of karma is Sauskarya. Sauskarya means that which can be purified. So you add ghee for purification of something or sprinkle water. Uh, so, the, uh, so that is what that is that is karma so you can bring about purification atma is ever pure atma cannot be attained because it is ever attained and the earlier one is what atma is not to be produced because it is it is not something which is born at all it is without janma ajaha so first three atma cannot produce moksha cannot actually it cannot produce moksha Atma is attainment of the, moksha is attainment of atma, which is ever attained. Therefore, moksha is, moksha is your natural state, which cannot be reproduced again. It was never produced and so it cannot be produced again either. Therefore, production is not possible, utpatti of moksha is not really possible. There is, uh, rhetorically it is, but really it is not possible. And moksha cannot come about by purification also. It cannot be attained really like Swarga and finally Vikarya. Vikarya means which can be modified like uh, milk changes into curd. For milk to change into curd you need real karma. You have to add add curd to it. You have to curdle it, curdle the milk. But moksha is not like that. Moksha is something which is not a modification of your state. It is your natural state. Therefore, something which can be attained by karma that viveka one has to do 
can moksha be attained by karma? It cannot be. Therefore, sarva karmani manasa means vivekena or viveka buddhya sanyasya having given up all karmas because karmas cannot give any of these. Uh, you cannot give moksha because moksha is not any of any of the four results that karma can give. Ityadi. So that is what I wanted to talk about. Now, uh, moving forward, moksha sicha akaryatvat mumukshoho karma anarthakyam. Karma anarthakyam. Moksha sicha akaryatvat. Since moksha cannot be produced, it cannot, it is not a result of karma, not produced, but karya will take all of the four karyas. Whether it is vikarya or whether it is praptihi, whether it is utpattihi or whether it is sauskarya. All are karyas, all are results of karma. And moksha is what? Moksha secha akaryatva. Since moksha is not something which is a result of karma, therefore mumukshoho karma anarthakyam. Karmanaha anarthakyam or karmanam anarthakyam. It is futile. There is futility of karma for a mumukshu because karma can bring about four results. Moksha is none of the four. Mumukshu is one who wants moksha. Then why will he indulge in karma whether in samuchaya or not? Just karma. It is not. It is futile. Therefore, one who wants moksha will not indulge in karma once chitta shuddhi is there. Nityani Pratyavaya Parihara Arthani Iti Ched. Now, Puro Pakshi says that Pratyavaya Parihara has to be done. If he gives up karma, then giving up Nitya Karma, what will happen? Pratyavaya Dosha will accrue. So, he says, Nityani Pratyavaya Parihara Arthani Iti Ched. No. Bhashyagara says, not true. If you say that Nitya, Nityani means Nityani Karmani. Nitya Karma, Nitya Karmani, Pratyavaya Vaya Parihara Arthani. We agree that there is parihara of pratyavaya, pratyavaya dosha will not accrue if nitya karma are continuously done. Vedantins agree with that. But he says, asanyasi vishayatvat pratyavaya prapti he. Pratyavaya prapti is for whom? It is for one who is a karta, one who has kartrutto bhava. He will have pratyavaya dosha if he does not do what has to be done. Duty is for a karta. If, a kar, if one has kartrutra bhava, then he has to do nitya karma. There is no doubt about it. But we, we are talking about a sannyasi. He has given up karma. And a sannyasi vishayatvat pratyavaya prapte he. Pratyavaya praptya prapti is only for a, for a asanyasi. For all the other three ashramis, but not for a sannyasi. Sannyasi is an akarta. He has given up karma and pratyavaya cannot accrue to him. So, he has, he has no necessity of doing pratyavaya. Uh, uh, he does has no uh, necessity of doing nitya karma to keep, keep away pratyavaya dosha. Nahi agni karyadji akarnat sanyasinaha pratyavaya kalpaitum shakya. So, this is a sangra vakya. What is called a sangra vakya? It is, an, it is a statement which is elaborated further by the further statements. Nahi Agni Karya Dhyakaranath. Agni Karya is for a Agni Karya is for a Brahmachari. Agni Hotra is for a Grahastha. So Agni Karya Di Akaranath. Due to not doing Heto Panchami, due to not doing Agni Karya Ityadi, meaning Agni, Agni Karya for a Brahmachari, Sandhya Vandana for both Brahmachari and Grahastha. For Grahastha there is uh, uh, Agni Hotra Karma Ityadi. And there are Several satellite karmas or nitya naimittika karma, shraddha karma ityadi. Sanyasinaha pratyavaya kalpetum na shakya. This na go here. Na shakya. It is not possible to imagine a pratyavaya dosha for a sanyasi. And uh, that is the elaboration of this. Asanyasi vishayatvat pratyavaya prapte he. Yatha brahmachari naam asanyasi naam api karmi naam. So, yatha brahmachari naam asanyasi naam api karmi naam pratyavaya kalpetum shakya tatha sanyasi naam pratyavaya kalpetum na shakya. Just as it is possible to imagine. See, pratyavaya dosha is imagined by the shastra. Shastras tell you that there is some dosha which is imaginary. Why it is imaginary that we will see, Bhashyagara will explain that or we will see anyway. 
pratyavaya is something which is positive as per uh, as per uh, mimam sakas puro mimam sakas but uttar mimam sakas vedanti says that there is no pratyavaya dosha which will come positively from something which is not done nitya karma not doing nitya karma cannot give something positive and we have seen last time that it will it will stop blocking the result of papa which is done earlier there is no new papa which is born but pratyavaya is imagined and it is a name given to something which will fructify from another karma papa karma which was done earlier which is not blocked through nitya karma nitya karma generates something positively when done which blocks blocks that papa to of from having effect that effect when it occurs due to nitya karma not being done then that is imagined as a pratyavaya dosha it is not something which is positively born so uh, that kind of pratyavaya cannot be imagined for sanyasi because sanyasi is akarta na tavat nityanam karmanam abhavad eva bhav rupasya pratyavaya se utpatti hi kalpayitum shakya and this is the explanation for uh, this is the statement for which i gave the explanation that Uh, first of all natavat nityanam karmanam abhavadeva just by absence of nitya karmas just by that there is nothing else if you say that only absence of karma will bring something it is not possible bhava rupasya pratyavayasya doshasya utpatti kalpat kalpayitum na shakya you cannot even imagine a pratyavaya dosha a positive pratyavaya dosha from coming into existence due to what due to absence of karma nitya karma from an abhava bhava rupa padartha cannot be born therefore utpatti of pratyavaya dosha is not real it cannot be imagined also logically also it is flawed why shruti says that chandogya shashto adhyay in 6th chapter katham asat sajjayet iti asat sajjanma asambhav shrute he this shruti is asambhav shruti it is saying by katham katham asata sajjayat that is saying how can sat sat be born sajjayat how can sat be born from asat asatah panch from asat how can sat be born sat means something which is existent bhava roopa how can it be born from abhava roopa so buddhism which is which has come up later has already been refuted by the shruti because there can be such thinking just because you don't see the karana there can be thinking that karya can come from a non existent uh, something as in from nothing but nothing positive can be born from absence therefore shruti said this by through rhetoric katam asata sajjayet iti asata sajjanma asambhava shruti existent cannot be born from नॉन एक्सिस्टेंस यदि विहिता करणात असंभाव्यम अपि प्रत्ययम ब्रूयात वेदह एंड ही सेज नाउ हाइपोथेटिकली इफ वेदह ब्रूयात इफ वेदा वेयर टू टॉक अबाउट प्रत्ययाय प्रत्यय व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्रत्ययाय असंभाव्यम व्हिच कैन नॉट बी बोर्न फ्रॉम विहित अकरणात फ्रॉम विहित अकरणात मींस फ्रॉम एब्सेंस ऑफ विहित प्रिस्क्राइब्ड नित्य नैमित्तिक कर्म और नित्य कर्म asambhavyam which cannot be born asambhava shruti said said that it cannot be born nothing can be born from non existence from shunya pratyavayam if it is said to be born bruyat vedah uh, veda where to talk about that kind of pratyavaya as a positive uh, entity which is born from non doing meaning absence of some karma tada anarthakarah vedah veda would be anarthakara it will i mean it, it will be talking something which is will bring anartha it, meaningless it is meaningless illogical and veda apramanam ityuktam sya then what will be the idea that you are expressing that pratyava is there he is telling the puro pakshi that apramanam veda will not become a pramana it will not be the source of valid knowledge and thereby people will put it aside इति असतः सज्जन्म सॉरी तदनर्थकर वेद अप्रमाणम इति उक्तम स्यात् दिस वुड बी द रिजल्टेंट मीनिंग ऑफ सच स्टेटमेंट्स और सच आइडियाज 
एंड विहित करणयो दुख मात्र फलत्वा एंड वाय वाय अनर्थक वाय वुड इट बी अनर्थक मीनिंगलेस एंड अप्रमाण फॉर दैट ही से विहित करण अकर्णयो इफ यू डू विहित कर्म देन वॉट इज हेपनिंग देर इज लॉर्ड ऑफ आयास बाउल बाउल्यम देर इज आयास बाउल्यम इज देर इज लॉर्ड ऑफ एफर्ट टू डू दैट सो दुख रूप इट इज दुख रूप दुख मात्र फलत्वा What is the dukkha there? Doing is dukkha, and then what is the result you are going at? Nitya will not give you any result. Nitya karma is just stopping your pratyavaya dosha. Is it giving something positive? No, it is not giving. Then you say, why should I do nitya karma? It is too taxing. I don't want to do daily sanjya vandana, agni karya, agni hotra. So much karma. Why should I do it? I will not do it. Then if you don't do it, what will happen? Pratyavaya dosha will come, and that is also duk- will give you dukkha. Any dosha will give you dukkha. So both ways. So it, this is called as ubhaya pasharajju. Both ways. You, if you do also, you are in a fix. If you don't do also, you are in a fix. So uh, ubhaya pasha. Uh, this thing pasha means pasharajju means uh, a noose. It's a noose around your neck. If you take one paksha, if you do the karma, there is dukkha. If you do not do the karma, then also there is a noose because you will get pratyavay dosha. And then dukkha. So dukkha matra phala tva. Both ways there is only dukkha as phala. There is no other phala. Only dukkha is phala. Therefore, shruti is what anartha karaha. Veda will become anartha kara in that case. Tatha cha karakam shastram yajnyapakam iti anupapannartham kalpitam syat. And what is what is it that you have finally imagined? What will be imagined? What what would be the resultant of that in this kind of a sequence of thinking? You are not thought further. You are making statements, but what is the end result of that? तथा च कारकम् शास्त्रम् शास्त्रम् कारकम् स्यात् न तु ज्ञापकम् What is shastra? Vedanti says that shastra is not a karaka. Karaka is what null pratyanta. Null means kartari null. Karaka means it is making you do. It is making you do. See, it is prodding. Basically, prodding means what the uh, Puro Yamasaka says that Chodano Lakshana Dharma. So, Dharma is Chodano Lakshana. Puro Yamasaka says that that it is prodding me to act. Really, it is not prodding you to act. What is it really doing? It is just telling you that if, if you do this, you will get Swarga. If you do this, you will get Samsiddhi. If you do this, you will get Putralabha. If you do this, uh, सम ब्रह्म लोका इफ यू डू दिस सम दर्शन वॉट एवर इट इज सेंग दैट इट इज जस्ट टेलिंग यू इफ यू डू दिस इज दी फला इफ यू वॉन्ट देन दिस इज दी मीन्स इट इज जस्ट रिवीलिंग दी मीन्स सो इट इज वॉट ज्ञापकम ज्ञापक इज ऑल्सो न्यूलंत बट न्या धातु इट इज जस्ट प्रोवाइडिंग यू नॉलेज ऑफ वॉट रिजल्ट एंड द मीन्स टू दैट दैट गोल वॉट इज दी गोल It is not telling you to yes, you have to attain this goal. It is just telling you that this this is the goal. These are the list of goals. If these are the goals, then this is the path. It is just a revealer. It is not it is not making you do. You choose to do because you are take yourself as a karta and you have ragat dvesha. You have desire for. I am a kama kami. I want swarga. Therefore, I do this karma. Just like any laukik karma, so tatha cha karakam shastram na jnapakam iti anupapanna martham kalpitam syat. It would be very untenable, uh, untenable meaning that you will have given to Veda itself as what the shastra is a is not a jnapaka. It is a karaka. It is making me do. It is saying that you have to do nitya karma. It is not telling you you have to do nitya karma. It is saying that if you consider yourself as a karta. If you do not want, uh, if you do not want dukkha of what you have done, then you do this. It is just telling you the means to avoiding dukkha. Whether you want to avoid dukkha is up to you. Whether you consider yourself as dukkhi is up to you. Whether you want sukha is also up to you. Whether you consider yourself as karta is and bhogta is up to you. So it is dependent on you. it is not forcing you to do anything it is just revealing that if you do not want dukkha this is the means if you want swarga sukha this is the means if you want moksha this is the means and therefore shastra as per uttar mimamsaka as, as a vedantin it is nyapakam not 
कारकम बट यू आर इंटरप्रिटिंग दी मे अनुपन्नम अर्थ वॉट इज द अनुपन्न अर्थ इट इज शास्त्र कारकम न तो ज्ञापक कल सैद न चेत दिष्ट एंड दिस इज नॉट डिजायरेबल वाई इज इट नॉट डिजायरेबल बिकॉज फाइनली यू आर अ कर्ता एज पर युअर ओन अंडरस्टैंडिंग बट यू आर पुटिंग दी ब्लेम ऑन दी शास्त्र शास्त्र इज शुड नॉट टेक दी ब्लेम शास्त्र इज श्रुति माता वेद माता यू के नॉट पुट युअर ब्लेम ऑन दी शास्त्र दैट शास्त्र मेड मी डू इट दैट इज नॉट राइट सो न तो न चेत दिष्ट इट इज नॉट डिजायरेबल इधर फॉर यू आर फॉर मी Not only for me, for you also it is undesirable to call shastra as a karaka. Tasmaan na sannyasi naam karmaani. Therefore, karmas are not there for sannyasi, and any karma is not there. Then why would you say that pratyavaya dosha will come? It will not come. Ataha jnana karma na ho samuchya anugopati hi. Therefore, jnana karma samuchya combination cannot be done. And by combination, what do we mean? Sah samuchya cannot be done. You cannot do it together because one. expects you to be a karta another expects you to be an akarta so there is a total contradiction there and both cannot go together like riding horses which are faced in to run in opposite direction that is the anartha there as we have seen many times jay si chet but sah samuchya is not possible krama samuchya is possible and krama samuchya is desirable one should do karma nitya karma with commitment with ishwararpana buddhi and with prasad buddhi one should do that that becomes karma yoga and through karma yoga samuchya krama samuchya is after chitta shuddhi one goes to jnana and thereby samuchya is possible only krama samuchya not sah samuchya jayasi chet karma naste mata buddhi janardana iti arjunasya prashnan upapattesch and this we have seen earlier which bhashyakara is now summing up that we have discussed this earlier also he says jayasi chet karma naste mata buddhi hi If you consider that buddhi yoga is superior to karma yoga, then Arjuna sya prashnanu papatte. Arjuna cannot ask this kind of a question because, as per you, the puro pakshi Bhagwan is teaching samuchaya, and Arjuna, having understood that Bhagwan is teaching combination of karma and jnana, he cannot say that if you consider jnana is superior to karma, why would he superimposed that kind of an idea on bhagwan if bhagwan were to really teach samuchaya he clearly understands that bhagwan is teaching superiority of buddhi compared to karma and that is why this question otherwise it will not be possible so prashnanu papatteshch this kind of a questioning by arjuna as one superior than the other cannot be asked yadi hi bhagavata dvitiya adhyaye jnanam karmancha samuchitya त्वया अनुष्ठेम इति उक्तम स्यात इफ इन दी सेकंड चैप्टर बाय भगवान व्हाट हैज बीन सेड एज पर दी पूर्व पक्षी यदि इफ इट वेर टू दैट भगवान हैड टॉट इन दी सेकंड चैप्टर ज्ञानम कर्म च समुचित्य हैविंग कंबाइंड ज्ञान एंड कर्म त्वया अनुष्ठेम इट शुड बी प्रैक्टिस बाय यू व्हाट शुड बी प्रैक्टिस दिस समुच्चय बोथ पुटिंग देम टुगेदर यू शुड प्रैक्टिस इट इफ इट 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 हैड इट बीन रियली उक्तम स्यात हैड इट बीन टॉट ततः अर्जुन से प्रश्न अनुपन्न दिस इज दी एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ व्हाट हैज बीन सेड हेर दे संग्रह वाक्य देन दिस क्वेश्चन दैट जायसी चेत कर्मणस्ते मता बुद्धि ही हे जनार्दन इन इफ यू कंसीडर बुद्धि योग एज बेटर देन कर्म दिस कैंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन के नॉट कम वाय अर्जुना ये चेत बुद्धि कर्मणि त्वया अनुष्ठे इत्युक्ते इफ इट हैज बीन टॉट अर्जुना ये टू अर्जुन बुद्धि कर्मणि That buddhi yoga and karma yoga should be put together. Jnana yoga and karma yoga, twaya anushte both should be practiced by you. You should practice jnana yoga also and karma yoga also. Ya karma na jayasi buddhi saapi ukta evo iti. Then ya karma na jayasi buddhi saapi ukta evo. Then this karma na jayasi buddhi which has been taught as superior. assuming that it is superior that has also been taught that karma and jnana inferior karma karma yoga and superior jnana yoga you do both together right let's say jnana yoga was taught as superior consider that puro pakshi is saying that okay he has taught it as superior 
but put them together he has already said samuchya what is how does it matter whether it is superior or inferior both have to be done together so bhagwan bhashyakar is saying that if bhagwan has taught that one is superior to other then he that has also been taught right to be done together he is not saying you do karma only as per purva pakshi bhagwan is not a bhagwan krishna is not instructing arjuna to follow only karma he is asking him to follow jnana also then let jnana be superior and karma be inferior it does not matter because both he is doing together if he is doing together then ya karmana jayati buddhi that buddhi yoga which is superior to karma yoga saapi ukta eva that also has been taught to be done together this is bhashyakar saying if that is also taught then if you say that this shloka is valid jayasi chet karmanaste buddhi yukta janar that janar he janardana if you consider one superior to the other jnana superior to the karma if that is a valid shloka it what is he saying further tatkim karmani ghore mam niyojesi keshava that is the question even if it is considered as superior and that has been taught you are saying samuchya is taught then how can arjuna ask tatkim karmani ghore mam niyojesi keshava why do you push me into this terrible action let him push in terrible action he is saying that you do karma along with karma you do jnana also what is the problem arjuna cannot ask this kind of a question because uh, bhagwan as per you has taught samuchaya then jnana also he can do and then get moksha then why will he be worried about this terrible action iti upala upalambah prashna va na katanchana upapadyate and it is not tenable kathanchana in no way this kind of a uh, thinking by arjuna and prashna whether a question what has been asked here in this first shloka or upalambha upalambha is uh, durvakyam durvakyam is illogical statement whether he is making that as an illogical statement or a question that doubtful thing or whether a question both are not possible नच अर्जुन से जायसी बुद्धि न अनुष्ठया भगवता उक्त पूर्व इति कल्पयत युक्त एंड यू कैन नॉट इवन इमेजिन व्हाट कैंड ऑफ इमेजिनेशन न अर्जुन से ओनली टू अर्जु फॉर अर्जुन जायसी बुद्धि न अनुष्ठया यू कैन नॉट से दैट दैट समुच्चय वॉज टॉट बट देन ओनली फॉर अर्जुन द इंस्ट्रक्शन वॉज गिवन बट यू फॉलो कर्म वो समुच्चय इज देर बट यू फॉलो कर्म दैट कैंड ऑफ मीनिंग ऑल्सो यू कैन नॉट टेक That Bhagwan has taught iti kalpe tum yuktam ye na jaya si chedi ti vivekata prashna syaat due to which Arjuna has imagined this kind of a question you cannot say because you are saying that it is taught samuchya is taught for everyone so Arjuna cannot be sidelined separately due to which he is asking this question as to why are you asking me to indulge only in this terrible action and not in jnana so this kind of uh, interpretation is wrong <coughs> sorry. फर्दर यदि पुनः एकस्य पुरुषस्य ज्ञानकर्मणो हो विरोधात् युगपद अनुष्ठानम् न संभवति इति भिन्न पुरुषानुष्ठेयत्वेन भगवता पूर्वमुक्तम् स्यात् ततः अयं प्रश्न उपपन्नः जायसि चेत् इत्यादि सो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग देन इफ पूर्वपक्षी इज लॉजिकली रॉंग कॉन्ट्राडिक्टिंग श्रुति स्मृति कॉन्ट्राडिक्टिंग भगवान contradicting arjuna's question also and uh, various ways we have shown that any way you interpret samuchaya it is wrong because you will be contradicting yourself bhagwan shruti smriti itihasa purana as well as gita shastra here also itself you don't have to go far yadi punah ekasya purushasya jnana karmano virodha due to virodha due to virodha between jnana and karma between jnana and karma there is virodha because one needs a karma needs a karta jnana needs a karta jnana is telling you you are an akarta karma is telling you you are a karta you should do this mitya karma at least you should do otherwise pratyavaya will come and due to there being contradiction between the two ekasya purushasya yugapad anushthanam na sambhav yugapad means sah together together anushthana practice na sambhavati is not possible भिन्न पुरुषानुष्ठेयत्वेन भगवता पूर्व मुक्तम स्यात् व्हाई भिन्न पुरुषानुष्ठेयत्वम बिकॉज़ दे आर टू बी डन बाय डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ पीपल इट हैज बीन टॉट एज 
there are two different paths one path will merge into the other after chitta shuddhi but one who has chitta shuddhi can directly take to jnana due to purva karma bhagavata purva muktam syat tatah ayam prashna anupapanna uh, uh, sorry upapanna only then this question by arjuna is valid if bhagwan purvam not that arjuna is thinking in the second chapter bhagwan has taught that there are two paths and if that, that kind of an idea was taught as one purusha should do uh, follow jnana yoga another purusha should follow uh, karma yoga if they have different eligible criteria eligibility criteria only then tatah only then ayam prashna upapanna syat only then this question by arjuna arjuna is not a dullard see arjuna is one of us he is a uh, he has middling adhikara he has this uh, he, he has uh, he is a normal person who will get influenced by emotions but he also has buddhi it is not that he is a dullard he may not be a dharmi like yudhishthira but he is not you know a simpleton like uh, uh, like the other br- brothers like bhima or even uh, even uh, uh, the nakula sadeva so it, it is not like that he is someone who is like one of us who uses his buddhi well under the influence of emotion he may have got deluded but this illogical questions he is not asking there really tata ayam prashna upapanna sat it will be logical question it is a valid question and why is it valid because bhagwan has taught as two different sets of people are eligible for these two separate paths jnana yoga and uh, buddhi yoga or jnana yoga and karma yoga therefore this question is valid and only then it is valid jayasi ched ityadi and only when it has already been taught it is valid otherwise arjuna is not imagining something on his own therefore this has already been taught in second chapter you have not only inter- uh, misinterpreted in the introduction now in this third chapter also you have misinterpreted because you have not understood the second chapter this is the uh, re- resultant of bhagwan bhashyakara's analysis and reply to the puro pakshi avivekatah avivekatah prashna kalpanayam api bhinna purush bhinna purushanushtheyatvena jnana karma nishthayoh bhagavatah prativachanam na upapadyat and he says that let's say let's say arjuna even if you agree that he is not a dullard or you say that he is a dullard even if the puro pakshi says that arjuna didn't understand i understood he didn't understand let's say that or let's say that he is influenced by moha and some delusion at that point of time he was not able to think and therefore there was aviveka and therefore let's say avivekatah arjunasya prashna arjunasya prashna kalpanayam api even if let's say there was this question by arjuna because arjuna got deluded and he could not make viveka as to samuchya has been taught not separate separately but samuchya has been taught bhagwan should correct him so bhinna purusha nushtheyatvena jnana karma nishtayo bhagavatah prativachanam na upapadyate bhagwan has has to reply to him the saying that why are you asking me this kind of a question when i have taught you samuchya but he has not taught samuchya that's why bhagwan is saying what jnana karma nishtayo ho bhinn purusha anushtheyatvena bhagavata prativachanam na upapadyate it is not tenable to say that bhagwan answered wrongly bhagwan has answered prativachanam bhagwan's answer is what bhagavata prativachanam bhagwan's answer is jnana karma nishtayo ho bhinn purusha anushtheyatvam he has said that jnana karma jnana and karma are to be followed by different sets of people he has clearly made the demarcation tasmat kevala deva jnanat moksha iti esha artha nischitah geetasu saropanishad chucha therefore what kevala deva jnana this advaita is called as kevala advaita there are others there is another who has come up i think vallavachare what shuddha advaita what is shuddha advaita they call it as shuddha advaita they imagine that advaita is shuddha but it is actually ashuddha if you analyze their views it is ashuddha why is ashuddha because in in moksha avastha it is shuddha 
and in baddha avastha this this bandha is real bandha is real prapancha is real everything is real in in the prapancha vyavaharika we call what do we call as vyavaharika satta this is that that is also real this bondage is real everything is real this world is real body mind sense complex is real and it is as real as the as brahman and what is the reality the, the reality is as real as brahman but only during the baddhavastha after one attains moksha then advaita is real so th this kind of ideas are there in other uh, flavors of uh, advaita so uh, shankaracharya what is called as advaita that also has to be qualified now so kevala deva jnana is kevala advaita that kevala advaita i just took this deviation of kevala so kevala deva jnana nothing else is needed no samuchya nothing only jnana is enough for moksha not only is it sufficient in fact nothing else will work if it is combined with karma it will not work and that has been shown therefore kevala deva jnana at moksha iti esha artha this is the idea nischitah definitely that is taught where is it taught gita su in all the gita shlokas they are committed towards a singular goal there is ek vakyata and sarva upanishad su cha also in all upanishads they are also directed towards one goal including karma kanda there is chitta shuddhi goal there but it is not moksha directly indirectly that is also moksha therefore ek vakyata is there nischit artha in all upanishads as well jnana karmano ho ekam vada nischitya iti cha ek vishaya eva prarthana anupapanna and then he says that not only have you failed in the first shloka you will have failed in the second shloka and in bhagwan's reply also you will have failed you have failed at multiple places and i'll show you so bhagwan bhashya kara se jnana karmano ho ekam vada nischitya arjuna is saying that nischitya see i have submitted unto you you are my guru you are ishwara himself and even as the best friend you have my interest in your heart and i have absolutely no buddhi to at least in this position i am not able to think straight i am submitting unto you you tell me what, what i should do so when he said that nishchit you take a decision as to what i should do ek upar but you tell me one thing because i have already under you saying that i am under the influence of moha so you have to bring me out don't give me these mixed statements again you tell me ekam the nischit you tell me this is it you do this don't tell me karma is like this nana is like this don't give me definitions so he wants a solution and now he is saying that tell me one whether it is karma or nana not definitely not uh, samuchaya if samuchaya has been taught arjuna cannot ask this question in the second shloka also ekam vad nischitya tell me only one thing iti cha ek vishaya ayo prarthana anupapanna he would not have asked you tell me one thing if that one thing has been taught which is combination that is also one thing but it is a combination if he had taught it's okay but what has he taught jnana means this jnana has to be done by these kind of people and karma means this this is what it will get so whatever has been taught he has taught separately he has taught and he has given definitions and he has given who are sankhyas what is this sankhya who are these karma yogis yogis all this he has given definitions and he has taught but he these are separately taught now he is saying you tell me one don't tell me this is also good that is also good iti cha ek vishaya eva prarthana tell me one anupapanna that kind of a request that please tell me only one that kind of idea also is not right that kind of a question is untenable by that kind of prayer is uh, request is untenable by arjuna ubhayo samuchye sambhave if it is even possible that uh, combination was taught had it been taught but it is not possible therefore uh, this kind of questioning is not valid kuru karma eva tasmat tvam and bhagwan's reply is what kuru karma eva not karma jnana cha he said didn't say karma jnanan cha kuru he said that kuru karma eva tasmatvam therefore you do karma why karmani eva adhikar aste you have only adhikara only in karma right now right now you don't have adhikara in jnana 
only in karma you have and only does not mean that karma and jnana also that is definitely not there for anyone it is not there but if you think you have adhikara in one then ekam vada nishchitya you do karma for you right now karma is needed for chitta shuddhi and later you can follow jnana when chitta shuddhi is enough tasmat tvam karma eva kuru you do only karma that is this nishchitya ekam vada reply to that is this in the fourth chapter is given because in third chapter also Uh, the idea is not clear to arjuna as to what should i really do you have glorified this you have glorified that or you have given me definitions and given me paths but what should i do you are telling me that two paths have been taught all that is fine but what should i do you tell me so kuru karme ho tasmatam because bhagwan is taking this opportunity to teach the teach everyone he is teaching everyone therefore he does not want to leave anything to doubt the teaching may be slow but even through arjuna's confusion finally bhagwan is going to answer all his questions he is not giving a straight answer now because he is building up the case he want does not want any doubts to come up again so kuru karma eva tasmat tvam right now you do karma this answer would not be valid iti cha jnana nishtha sambhavam arjunasya avadharanena darshayishyati and bhagwan will show to our avadharanen avadharana nischitya means with ascertainment he will say he will ascertain this that you do this and without any doubts he will say you do karma jnana nishta asambhavam because uh, what is this tasmat tvam jnana nishta asambhavam arjunasya that it is not possible to get jnana nishta now even if you follow jnana even if you think that you have understood you will not get nishta and it will not lead to moksha then do not indulge in it right now just fall do karma karma yoga you follow and thereby through chitta shuddhi whatever i have taught you this will remain and this will shine when you have chitta shuddhi you will not have to relearn everything that jnana will work when the time is ripe but you follow karma right now and then avadharana darshayishyati arjunasya that time you can follow jnana not now jnana is in buddhi yoga jnana yoga right now jnana nishtha will not be possible therefore अवधारण दर्शय भगवान विल शो इन दी फोर्थ चैप्टर सो अर्जुन उवाच अर्जुन सेट वॉट जायसी चेत कर्मण से मता बुद्धि जनादन तत्किम कर्मणी घोरे माम नियोजे सी केशव वी हेव सीन दिस श्लोक इन व्याकरण विल गो बैक टू अवर शीट एंड विल गो थ्रू दी श्लोक एंड संबंध भाष्य संगति भाष्य विथ ईच ऑफ दी श्लोक कंटिन्यूंग इन दी नेक्स्ट पार्ट हा I'll uh, not. Uh, I'll not do the unveil right now. We'll see in the next class. We have seen the unveil, but uh, I'll not write the unveil right now. Okay, I'll stop here unless there are any questions. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Any questions? Yes, Anand. Uh, I had a question in terms of uh, because uh, today also we saw that pratyavaha is not there for a sannyasi. Hmm. So, uh, in terms of an ideal sannyasi, he is only in nididya sana. Like, like if you if someone takes now vividisha sannyasa. Hmm. and he is then uh mostly he is only doing shravana manana and nididhyasana that that is the only uh, ideally yes ideally yes other than bhiksha yes ideally is yes. okay so uh, vivid if one takes vividhya sanyasa he is supposed to do uh, only uh, uh, only shravana in fact no upasana no karma uh, he should not be doing that in fact uh, elsewhere it is mentioned that uh, in fact i was just going through brahadarnak upanishad uh, introduction summary introduction which includes summary of all the chapters by uh, maheshananda giri swami ji so that mahamandishwar says that uh, in fact one should a sanyasi should not indulge in any puja and upasana Mm-hmm. but what happens that sanyasis do continue in those
for Loka Sangraha they do. And uh, last time I had mentioned, unfortunately this Varna Vyavastha has fallen apart, not having state support. Pooja Swami says, he uses very valid words, state support is not there. Now you cannot bring about a Varna Vyavastha question also, because people will put a case against you. Why are you talking hmm. about, uh, we, we are not talking about one state against other, but we are talking about a Vyavastha which will lead to Moksha, that is our uh, goal, through any, any Varna, through any Ashrama. Now the thing is that a sannyasi has to do some things which the grahasthas have given up or someone else has given up, therefore loka sangrahartam, they do it. In fact, especially these uh, peta dishas. Uh, mm-hmm. In fact, my guru himself, uh, Bhagavan Sridhar Swamiji, he gave up uh, matha also. He had promised his uh, Purvashrama mother that he will not take uh, peta. The reason peta is not taken by many people, many sannyasis, because they want to remain uh, without any commitment to the ashram and follow those lo- for Loka Sangra also because ashrama will bring, uh, someone had interpreted, one Swamiji in Rishikesh he was, when he was teaching us, he said ashrama is Samanta ashrama. So ashrama is not a place of, you know, for a, uh, this is Asamanta is a lot. So there is shrama, endless shrama. And so there is a lot of shrama in ashrama. That kind of a definition it has come to be. So people who really want to do Nididhyasana, they don't take to ashrama also. But having taken the ashrama as part of prarabdha or a directive from Ishwara or from Guru, one may continue to do Loka Sangraha, whichever is, comes with the Pita. So you see a uh, lot of uh, Puja Ityadi by Mathadipatis also. Especially Shankaracharyas do it because it is for the welfare of the world and for so that others continue. They don't need anything for themselves and it is for the Matha, welfare of the Matha also. And that's why Shankaracharya himself, Adi Shankaracharya has put in requirements of what the Pitadisha should be doing. Otherwise, uh, for Moksha, none of this has to be done. Not needed and uh, not prescribed also. Because prescription so, itself is possible for an Adhyani. For a Adhyani, prescription itself is not there. Vedas are ave, Veda Aveda Hoti. Vedas become Aveda. How can it uh, tell you what to do? It cannot tell you what to do. But, uh, like, if we uh, take out even Upasana or Japa, then for uh, Chitta Ekagrata, there is no practice at all for the, for the, for the ideal time. Shravana Artha. What is the manana on shravana? Whatever shravana has happened on that manana. Nididhyasana is on that. That's it. Okay. Okay. In fact, uh, all mantras are uh, collapsed into omkara. What is omkara? Omkara is swarupa. It it is name of Ishwara. So there is no japa needed. But omkara itself is includes that uh, ekavakyata. Mm So, uh, the dhyana is in, uh, so bhakti is also what? Advaita bhakti there. Upasana is what? Upasana of atma. In fact, in Mm. puja also, others also are uh, required to do that. We don't do it because mantra artha is also not there. Mantra itself is not there. So, uh, Mm. you have to uh, become the deity. What is karanyasa, anganyasa? You invoke the deity in the kara and anga. You become the deity. So, deva bhutva deva miyajit. Having become the Lord, you pray to the Lord. How is that possible? It is like jumping the gun, isn't it? How can you become the Lord and pray to the Lord? But that is actually so, even for others also it is so. And for sannyasi definitely so. Because he, what he is he practicing, so to say practicing, is Shravana Manana Nididhyasana. Shravana is telling you what is the Shruti Artha, which is what Ekavakyata. Manana is telling you that if you have any other doubts, let the, those be removed. So it is thinking about that, contemplating on that and removing doubts. So there is no japa needed there. Ekagrata is what? Ekagrata is on Shravana Mantra. On Upanishad Mantras there is Ekagrata. There is uh, analysis of study of Shastras, Gita. What is Gita trying to tell? So through Bhashyas, through Tikas, the study is of that. And then if there is something which is apparent contradiction is there, that will go through Tarka. And that Nyaya, nyaya uh, Prasthana is Brahma Sutra. 
सो गीता इज श्रुति प्रस्थान श्रुति इज दी इज श्रुति प्रस्थान उपनिषद सार श्रुति प्रस्थान गीता इज स्मृति प्रस्थान एंड ब्रह्मसूत्र इज न्याय प्रस्थान तर्क थ्रू तर्क ऑल दी ऑल दी ऑपोजिंग आइडियाज आर टेकन सो वॉट रिमेन्स इज यू विच इज वॉट श्रुति इज टीचिंग विच इज वॉट स्मृति इज टीचिंग सो दी देर इज नथिंग एल्स एकाग्रता फॉर एकाग्रता यू कैन टेक स्टोन ऑल्सो विच कैन बी शिवलिंग विच कैन बी विष्णु विच कैन बी सालिग्रम विच कैन बी एनीथिंग विच कैन बी अ मूर्ति विच कैन बी अ प्लांट ऑल्सो इन योगा इट कैन बी एनीथिंग बट फॉर एकाग्रता यू नीड वॉट वन समथिंग टू फोकस ऑन राइट एंड दैट इज श्रुति दैट इज एकवाक्यता दैट इज ऑन फाइनली वॉट एवर इज द कल्मिनेशन दैट बिकम्स दी the the focus that becomes the object of focus and then the object of focus is finally mahavakya which is uh, which is actually given by the guru and then uh, once we are, one understands that then the mahavakya also resolves into a single vritti which drops off into brahma brahmakara vritti and that brahmakara samadhi Mm-hmm. so finally it is into that artha so focus is what finally that where you alone remain so bhagwan uh, bhashyakar elsewhere in uh, he says brahma roopa samadhi mm-hmm. your own what you remain is is everything because nothing else is there apart from you apart from you nothing else remains with attachment uh, as with the anuvritti of aham aham nothing else remains once that is understood so there is no tadatmya uh, sambandha with anything else that is the culmination of all all japa and all uh, all karma also upasana also okay okay anything else or still doubt on the same question i <laughs> thinking so uh, so a person who takes sanyasa strictly speaking he uh, will have ideally finished all all karma all karma yeah. yoga so all, it is assumed that a person who is taking sanyasa is a viveki who has done japa and vidyaranacharya says that he is a krutopasti krutopasti means he has got upasana phala there is nothing else needed to be done he does not mm-hmm. need anything to gain focus he already has focus he has composure he has samadhana chitta samadhana is already there otherwise taking sanyasa is a pap karma uh, let alone uh, taking it and doing some sadhana sanyasa is not a ground to build up uh, chitta chitta shuddhi sanyasa is only after chitta shuddhi and adhikari really uttam adhikari is krutopasti as per vidyaranacharya it's a krutopasti means krutah upasti yena upasti is upasana tin pratya upasana yena karma karma karmani vitpatti one who has done upasana to fruition means he says that ishta devata darshana one who has that ishta devata darshana is the main adhikari what what focus will you teach him so it is not arjuna who is seeing krishna right there as in a human body it is that arjuna who has seen uh, chaturbhuja vishnu who has seen narayana that is a krutopasti so to say i mean I, not literally because otherwise yes. he couldn't have had darshan so we have to assume that he has done upasana okay so ideally a krutopasti but uh, of course i mean uh, we can't take uh, an ideal uh, uh, ideal case everywhere because upanishads themselves don't take all upanishads don't take the ideal case yeah but uh, what happens is now if someone takes sanyasa then uh, automatically the pratyava uh, dosha is not going to take place for this person but th- th- that sounds so strange in the sense that you might accidentally take sanyasa and hence overcome this dosha and you may not do much after that see a person is not take is person should not definitely take sanyasa to not to avoid nitya karma that is not the role of sanyasa the role of sanyasa is not to avoid karma it it is for see sanyasa is for what it is prescribed for one who 
does not have eshana traya we saw that earlier putreshana viteshana lokeshana one who does not have any of these eshanas is supposed to uh, take sanyasa so even if one does not have uh, complete akartrutvam still that akartrutvam will come in time mm-hmm. but he uh, just by dropping kar- see if one uh, has kama and take sanyasa in that janma he may not get patyavai dosha let's say but he mm-hmm. get another janma a sanyasi can get janma yeah. he get another janma what will he do then and he may not get even an opportunity to uh, do sadhana there therefore mm-hmm. sadhana has to be done prior to sanyasa in fact prior to shravana in orthodox tradition it is said that uh, there is a statement which says that sanyasa uh, shravanam kuriya sanyas having taken sanyasa shravana should be done but sanya, uh, forget uh, shravana but uh, people do anything and everything after sanyasa that is not right Hmm. So, strictly speaking, Shravana should be, not be done by a non-sanyasi, especially uh, Brahma Sutra study. Because Brahma Sutra itself has another name which uh, denies study for a non-sanyasi. But then we interpret it as a mental sanyasa is there and all sorts of interpretations are there to give ourselves con- concession. But we can't give a san- concession that, okay, we will take sanyasa also. Not right. in fact this is the reason for fall in many places that you see today sanyasis uh, names are spoiled sanyasa ashram has got a bad name due to th- uh, these kind of sanyasis it is not to avoid pratyavaya dosha pratyavaya dosha is is actually quite minimal it is not a uh, huge uh, it is not taking away uh, a huge papa huge papa will have its result because you see people who have been uh, doing nitya karma in the earlier generations completely they also had health troubles they have had all sorts of troubles lesser but they were there mm-hmm. it does not mean that pratyavai does not take away all papas mm, huge papas don't go even by prayaschita karma there are some karmas where there is no prayaschita at all but pratyavai will take away whatever is uh, manifesting daily mm-hmm. Uh, and which will not keep you away from pursuit of the path that is the idea some issues which pop up every now and then and they uh, bring in small obstacles you know which you get irritated by you can consider those kind of things they are not going to take away huge papa done so sanyasa is not for that there are people who do that for a different reason that uh, they cannot uh, continue because uh, uh, Yava Jeeva Shruti says that as long as life is there, it does not say that uh, one who is incapable. So, somebody who is incapable to do, uh, such people take sannyasa, but that is not the main sannyasa. Hmm. Such, there is a possibility that some people who cannot do can give up karma by taking sannyasa, but one who is not really able to do due to health issues or something else, which is the main interpretation of a Purva Vimamsaka. Purva Vimamsaka says that. that one who cannot do you know completely useless uh, by health cannot do any karma then he takes sanyasa but that is not the interpretation that is the uh, that is the concession meaning that is something who uh, a sanyasa given to someone who actually cannot do anything and who is a vaidika who thinks that no i sh- i should not give up karma who has done all his life and then he says that now i can't do then i should not uh, sit in some ashrama where ashrama demands that karma to be done with that kind of shraddha one has done all life then that person should take sanyasa and since that person has is not able to do karma obviously he is not in a position to do shravana then there some concession is given that some mantra repetition so some mantras are there for sanyasis also can be done so those are given by the guru to such person so that he he remains involved in some activity and uh, does justice to that ashrama but definitely not to avoid pratyavaya dosha only sanyasa is definitely not for that because there is no uh, there is main definitions of uh, divisions of kar- uh, sanyasa are what vividisha and and uh, vidvat sanyasa so veditum icha sanyasa is for veditum icha then that is vividisha sanyasa no there is no uh, 
pratyavaya avoidance sanyasa and vidvat is one who has uh, so one who has uh, vidya yana okay 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 any anything else or anyone else yes bahu yeah so when bhashikara se sa नतावद नित्यानाम कर्माणाम अभावाद एव भावरूपस्य प्रत्ययायः उत्पत्ति कल्पयितुं शक्यः सो अकॉर्डिंग टू अद्वैता व्हाट वुड बी द रिजल्ट ऑफ नित्य कर्म देन इफ इट इज द इफ इफ इट कैन नॉट वी एग्री विद वी एग्री विद पूर्व मीमांसकास दैट देयर इज प्रत्ययाय दोष बट प्रत्ययाय दोष इज व्हाट नित्य कर्म इज टू अवॉइड प्रत्ययाय दोष नित्य कर्म डज नॉट ब्रिंग पुण्य ओके दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग it is not mm-hmm. giving you punya as uh, punya it is giving some kind of a punya which is not punya which will accumulate it is punya which will which will counter pratyavaya and what is pratyavaya it is not a positive dosha it is that dosha which you have already earned due to some papa not due to not doing this karma you will have earned something across many lives which is due for rectification today so let's mm-hmm. say some karma papa karma that i have done is going to fructify today if i don't do my nitya karma then it will fructify hmm. if i do my nitya karma it will not fructify okay. so i'll be protected so, it is like a kavacha hmm. so nitya karma's hmm. role is to act as a kavacha of some uh, some papa that i have already done not a new papa new papa is not born but old papa will get an opportunity to act if i don't do nitya karma Hmm. the least of which will be an emotional stress see you see uh, let's say you are doing some shloka every day if you are not able to do that at least you will feel the guilt of not doing it hmm. this is the the most basic effect that you will feel you will not feel santosha you will say no i have i have not done this oh. so that will eat you up from within that will be the 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 the, the most minimal will, will be that and it can be anything else because uh, gana karmano gati so you don't know really what what is going to happen due to that but some papa which has already been done earlier which we will fructify and that is that that is not a new uh, newly born dosha but it is called pratyavaya because it is in common usage shastras do talk about it but we say that it is illogical that some bhava roopa can come from abhava it cannot because shruti it is shruti virudha virudha and it is logically also not possible okay so just for clarification so the it's on the bhava rupa pratyavaya that there is a difference between the vedanta and sandhi you know sarka that it is not positive yeah mm-hmm. we we do agree that pratyavaya is there but pratyavaya is not something which is positively born and it is mm-hmm. to whom it is to whom the uh, so here the idea is that pratyavaya will not come to a sanyasi for what reason so there are two things which are done here it is not done, will not come to him because he does not have any karma to do pratyavaya mm-hmm. comes to someone who has nitya karma sanyasi mm-hmm. does not have nitya karma why does see where do you get the information of nitya karma it is not something that people have imagined shruti tells you shruti mm-hmm. being the source of nitya karma it is also the source for adhikari it tells that this person should in this ashrama should do this karma so it says that sanyasa is giving up karma the shruti who says that you give up karma it cannot give you nitya karma so shruti takes away nitya karma from someone who is a sanyasi he is saying that she is saying you you take to sanyasa thereby there is no nitya karma for a sanyasi so you cannot say that uh, now nitya karma itself has been uh, asked to be given up by shruti and then shruti says if you don't do it you will get pratyavay dosha that will never happen yeah. so that can not happen therefore that is one thing and second thing bhashyakara says that the understanding of the purva pakshi that pratyavay will come if you don't do it that kind of pratyavay is not a positive thing which will come mm-hmm. it is a it is something which will act and going further the sanyasi will not get his papa effect is not true 
he does not have pratyamaya but let's say praradha starts acting let it act it is acting on the sharira sanyasi is not free from it sanyasi is not as long as he is bound to the sharira sharira will keep on having but guna guneshu vartante gunas mm-hmm. are affecting the body gunas so he will also have these issues pratyamaya will not be there but some other papa may be working for a uh, sanyasi also let it work he'll say let it work prarabdhaya samarpitam sopu he says that i'll follow prarabdha let prarabdha accrue to the body it affects the body it is not affecting me because i am shuddha atma thereby uh, this is another thing that we should understand here is that it is not that papa will not earlier than papa will not affect the sharira it will affect the sharira but it will not it has never affected the affected the shariri even when uh, he was an ajnan and when the sanyasi has become a jnani that time he knows that it does not affect me he has that viveka that it is affecting the sharira and that pratyavaya which is which may or may not uh, affect the sharira is not affecting the sharir hmm. Yeah, but pratyavaya itself cannot come because uh, pratyavaya is that technical effect uh, or name that technical. Uh, it is a sanya for that which comes of non-performance of something, as in it does not block something which was born earlier. That kind of dosha is not there because uh, Shruti has not given that person nitya karma. Hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Anything else? Anyone else? Namaste. Namaste.